Hey, what's up, guys? It's JJX at Combat Guys with a brand new YouTube video, and today is the season kickoff of my 2020 season. I'm not sure exactly what I title, uh, what I want to title it, other than the 2020 season. Uh, I'm not sure how many labeling this series, um, but the first few training sessions not exactly the greatest thing as of right now i'm just testing the waters with these first few videos to kind of get down my editing style and um just see 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 how i should be creating these trainings training sessions so any feedback that you guys have i would greatly appreciate it if you let me know because i've never really done consistent vlogging or anything like that i've been in youtube before but you know um, I'm not super experienced in training blog so if you have any tips or any feedback please let me know and I'll consider implementing it or whatever but uh, these are the first two sessions that I actually partook in <laughs> um, they're actually in the week one I'm not really recording anything from week two I'm just kind of testing out things and as time goes on once I really start getting uh, once I start getting into my training I'll start uh, releasing more weekly content or so uh, I've been told that it's hard to keep a good schedule on YouTube um, so honestly I'm not gonna put too much of a standard for myself but I am gonna aim to try and upload weekly or twice weekly um, we'll see what happens but that is the goal 100% um, so in terms of video quality at the moment I'm just using a smartphone and a cheap stand um, I'm just waiting on ordering some equipment for like a better tripod and a dedicated camera so I can get you guys better quality content and get it from good angles which will allow me to make better content. <laughs> That's it. Um, other than that, it's really just going to be me creating my own style, um, taking inspiration from how other people like to do it because I don't want to just make it where you're just going to see the whole duration of the run repeatedly. I feel like that will get boring over time unless you're like a training junkie like me that can actually watch that nonstop. Um, but let's get into the training. So um, I'm not sure if I'm always going to be doing voiceovers or if I'm going to be talking more on camera or anything. Um, for now, obviously, just testing waters. But in terms of training, this early training, um, the first session was really just to shock my body and not, not overly shock where I'm doing 90% or anything like 80%, but we're going like... 60% but with higher amounts of reps and whatnot that's really just gonna hit the body you're gonna be sore after that workout but not like overly sore um, and it kind of gets the excitement out that's the main focus of it um, this is actually um, something that my coach used to do I learned a lot from him uh, he's passed away now but his name was Richard Paul or Paul Richards my bad um, I learned half of what I know for sprint training I learned from him and I'm observing how he trained me um, he actually is the one that managed to get me down to 11.4 seconds from 11.7 seconds with minimal training to be honest with you guys because I was just not training enough and I was not serious enough. But besides that, um, get all of the get all that energy out of the way because we tend to have this thing where we just want to start sprinting as fast as possible as soon as we start. We don't want to go slow. But you know, I think it's important for us to enjoy this slower running process and um, just going through it. But just get those shakes out the way. Um, so that way you don't feel as tempted to go faster than what you're supposed to be going when prepping the body for all the impacts and the speeds and distances that you'll be going later on in the season, right? So that's all it is. Um, basic muscular endurance work with the reps and sets and all those kind of things. Very basic exercises. Uh, I'm more excited for when I get to like the glycolytic endurance, like training for lactic acid to improve your finish. Um, doing top speed training and plyometrics, depth jumps, those are all the things I really want to record. Um, I did have an opportunity to do that when I was preparing for last season, but I just was not feeling ready to start releasing content. Mostly I didn't want to just release content for one month of that training and maybe a little bit of competition and then just stop uploading. So I just decided to wait and focus on what was right in front of me. Um, after that, we're going to be progressing up to, like, relatively soon on the week three, which is approaching soon for me as I'm recording this on the week two, midway through, well, no, by the ending of week two. Um, we're going to be doing 90% runs just to get the body going and start doing speed prep work so I, I can get into speed training. And it basically just allows you to recover better from the speed training that you're doing on the ATP PC system. Um... I mean, it's as simple as that while increasing the volume. I'm personally only going to be going up to 1,200 meters worth of volume just playing it safe this season um, because I've never really been trained five days a week or even three days a week consistently 
So I'm very much like I'm sure I'm gonna make the improvements that I want due to the fact I'm gonna be adding so much more to my training regimen. Um, in terms of progression, I mean, I'm really trying to kick off the the outdoor season opener with 11 seconds dead or t a 10-9, and I'm trying to progress my way down to possibly a 10-6 or a 10-5. I don't know, but I'm trying to get between that 10-7, 10-8 range. But you know, if a 10-5 or a 10-6 pops up, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna look at it as something plausible, right? Um, and I'm not expecting to go anything slower than 10-9 whatsoever. Um, that's that's pretty much it for the 100. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of long jump, but no, not much dedicated training for it. Um, mainly, fo main focus is the 100 meters because that's the one that I need the most development in, and also that I find the most fun to do. Um, you guys also might see hurdling, possibly this season, possibly or next season. Um, it's just that my coach trained me a lot in hurdles. He put a lot of time into it, and he managed to really upgrade me as a hurdler. Like before, I was just a hurdler with speed, and now I actually had half decent technique, so now I could actually compete with the best hurdlers who already had speed. And I really don't want to waste that training. Now, hurdles is not necessarily the route that I'm going to be going down, um, but it's something that I do enjoy to a point. Um, obviously, not as much as my 100, but you know, just kind of like part of the season dedicated to him uh, since his passing and since he put so much time into it you know I didn't want it like I don't want it to be in vain but um that's really it guys that's all I want to talk to you guys about so please give me feedback on on whether you guys want things to be um voiceover um or you want it to be a mix in between voiceover and live vlogging just tell me everything because this is my first time ever doing it and I want to learn as much as possible to bring the best content and keep all this stuff documented because I know that for me personally on my sprinting journey I always want to find other people's journeys through improvement just as inspiration and motivation to what my task is to become a 10 second runner and become world class in my um, in my mid to early 20s and um, that's about it guys so I'm gonna let the rest of the video play out Thank you guys so much for watching if you watched up to this point, and have a great day. JJXII.